Hi, welcome to Insights. I'm Denise. Thanks once again for sharing your time with me today, for sharing the video, letting others know about Insights, because Insights is here so that we can have some insight, so that we can be aware, because I need to be aware myself. You know, recently I completed my John Maxwell training, and I can't say completed because it's a continuous journey, but I received certification. And part of that, that we can talk about the, the 15 invaluable laws of growth. And that's also part of me growing because in this COVID session, in this COVID time, this is a really good time to improve on any particular skill set or do something different. Do some, if you want something different to happen, you have to change. You cannot continue doing the same thing and expect different results. So you must be aware. So going back to these 15 invaluable laws of growth, and I'm telling you, we all could do with some growth because we cannot remain as we are. I was looking at the first law, the law of intentionality, and I really love that one. But that's not what I'm going to focus on today. I'm going to focus on the law of awareness. You know, we must be aware of who we are. Now, many times we're not, as I say, we're not cognizant. We're not fully there. It's not you're talking to a person, you realize we're, they're here and they're hearing me. So you have to repeat yourself. You know, we say that a lot about the men, that the women speak in English and men here in French, but, you know, that's on the side. But when I think of the law of awareness, that even now we have so much time to reflect because of the fact that we've been housebound or having extra time, this is a time for good introspection. And when I look at the fact of being aware also means being conscious of your actions and things around you. I was doing a little bit of research and they talk about three levels of awareness, which is minimal awareness. That is, you could ask somebody who, you, a man could be sitting right in front of you, a lady, and you know that they were wearing clothes a shirt and a pants but you cannot say what color they, are, they they were wearing or you cannot give the height or you can you put some people in a lineup and everybody will have a different response so that's minimal awareness but then there's perceptual awareness you perceive that there's something more and you can dig in deeper that's perceptual awareness where you can actually describe what the person was wearing and you can actually say a bit more on a particular circumstance but that's not the one i want to speak of today and i want to focus on i want to focus on introspective awareness introspective awareness speaks of you because we are so busy trying to fix everybody else you know we are this on the vendetta that we i can see your faults you know the word of god say that you have a big beam in your eye but you want to take out a little speck out of your brother's Eyes, so you're busy judging so we want to be aware of ourselves and you know the law of awareness by John Maxwell say you have to know yourself to grow yourself and growth speaks of life anything that is not growing is dead it is stagnant and stagnation stinks it has a, a smell so we want to grow so we have to know who we are we have to be aware so that introspective awareness speaks of a higher level of awareness where you look at the actions that you are taking and know that what you do the word of god said that the father eats sour grapes and put the children teeth on edge but i say no longer that will be the case so if you are doing actions that you think that they're good but someone else is effective negatively or even for yourself then you have to change so be aware of your actions that we live in an ecosystem and that what you do affects someone else so be aware of your actions or how they affect others and also how they affect you do you know that the word of god says, as a man thinks so is he and so what you think actually projects into your body and we were made for happy thoughts we were made for joyous thoughts so as you are negative and you speak negative things and you have been diagnosed with some kind of sickness and you wonder why that is the case introspectively look at what you've been thinking what you've been doing your actions because if you want to get out of that place of loneliness that place of sadness you have to actively you have to be intentional you have to actively make a step to move from where you're at to where you need to get to. So be aware, introspective means I look inside and I read that I have a bad attitude or that I, I, I project something negatively onto others and actively seek to change it. And only true change can come from God. So we ask him to help us today so that we can become more Christ-like, so that we can become passionate and we become aware. And once you're aware, then change take place, then growth take place. So be aware. I just want to say a little something. I was watching Friends because I like to watch Friends. We were watching the episode and Rachel was giving Ross some trouble and they were talking about being aware and they say, Unagi, summon skin roll. So sometimes my daughter and I, we do that when we're having fun, when we're aware. So today I want you to be aware of your circumstances. 
is, aware of who you are, and aware that to know yourself, you must grow yourself. So in order to be the best you, you have to be aware of the you that you are now and actively seek to change. God bless you. Be aware. Shalom.